It's crazy. All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by our Shah, by Shem Rakak with Das. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Sid Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, I was just looking at this uh, this thing, man, on my computer. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. I didn't upload that or whatever. But that's spiritual, man, because those times are, are about to come. Okay? <laughs> that's crazy, man. Okay? But the title of this video is Yahweh Shah is the Avenger or Redeemer of Blood. Okay? Now, I was looking in the... Um, Bible Dictionary, okay, Zondervan's Bible Dictionary, okay, and as I was um, looking, okay, I looked up the word blood or avenger or uh, revenger of blood, right, and it said, uh, Genesis 9 and 6, whoso says man's blood, by man shall his blood be said, is the basis for capital punishment, okay, and Israel of old and among the Arabs and other primitive people of today, when murder or manslaughter was committed, the nearest of kin of the slain person took it upon himself to execute vengeance. In the law of Moses, it was recognized that the avenger would pursue a killer and so cities of refuge were provided for those of guilty of manslaughter but not of murder. The Hebrew word, okay, and I'm going to get that, okay, in um, that scripture... Um, when you're going through the word, the Hebrew word of uh, avenger, okay, avenger. I'm gonna get the definition, okay. Before I go into the Hebrew word, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get it from the Bible. Um, what is it? The uh, get it from the um, the Bible dictionary. Okay, the blue letter. Okay, and I'm gonna get it from uh, the, the the definition. Okay, but the word avenger. Okay, it says to take vengeance or exact satisfaction for. Okay, take vengeance on behalf of. Okay, and the scriptures talk about vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Okay. Now. When you're going to the Bible, okay, and it says it here in the um the Zondervan Bible dictionary, um, the, the Hebrew word for vengeance Ga'al Ga'alya or Ga'al. Okay. Now one of the synonyms for Avenger, okay, was that numbers 35 and 12. Okay, it says, and they so be unto you cities for refuge. From the avenger that the manslayer die not until he stand before the congregation in judgment okay the so-called white man want to put his hand towards this bible okay well guess what you're going to you're going to get judged according to what the scriptures say okay first off the bible ain't even for you okay now the hebrew word is ga'al ga ga'ala ga'al okay which that means to redeem, act as a kinsman redeemer, avenge, revenge, ransom, do, do the part of a kinsman. To act as a kinsman, do the part of next of kin, okay? And that's where that um, scripture, okay, avenge and redeem, okay, mean the same thing, okay? What's the word redeem? Okay, it means compensate for the faults or bad aspects of gain or regain possession of something in exchange for payment. Okay, now once again, once you you kill somebody, okay, yet that blood that you um that that you you took is required of, of you also. Okay. That's that's according to the law. 
okay that's in the um the bible okay now when you go into the word redeem okay once again it means to gain or regain possession of something in exchange for possession i mean for payment okay now one of the scriptures that come to mind okay is deuteronomy 28 and uh the last verse the 68 verse it says and the lord shall bring you into egypt again what with ships by the way whereof i spake unto you you shall see it no more again and there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bond women and no man shall buy you okay and that word um buy okay goes into the word redeem okay no man is gonna uh recover you okay from from off of the fact that we went into slavery nobody is going to be able to save us from this okay there's no uh no amount of guns that you can uh, pick up and go to fight the so-called white man in order to save our people from the hell that they're in okay the only one that can do that okay is uh yahweh shah okay so um it says this indicates that the executioner will ordinarily be a kinsman okay and that proves that when the lord comes back you know when he comes to execute the so-called white man that he's going to be uh of our kinsmen he's going to be our a, a fellow israelite okay it's the scriptures talk about for it is evident that the lord sprang out of the tribe of judah okay um now i'm gonna continue on okay it says as son of man he is our kinsman he is our he was our redeemer okay and he will be the avenger of blood okay now they have some scriptures on here okay uh which i'm gonna get some of them okay but for the most part you know i have a scriptures you know that i wanted to go through also but um let me get this uh first peter the book of first peter one and um uh 18 for as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things in silver and gold right because it says it's Solomon. it says for as much as you know that you are not redeemed with corruptible things in silver and gold right because you have some some christians who would think that you get woke up into this truth and now all of a sudden you know you're you're just going to prosper in this 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 life right it says from the vain conversations received by Christians or tradition from your fathers was the word tradition means something that people do but it doesn't necessarily equate to the scriptures okay it says uh but with the press the precious blood of Yahweh Shah is of a lamb without blemish and without spot who verily was ordained before the foundation of the world but was manifest in these last times for you it says who by him do believe you. it says who by him do believe who by him do believe in Yahweh that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory that your faith and hope might be in, in Yahweh by some Yahweh okay and what is our faith and hope that we get redeemed okay that the avenger of our blood comes, he saves us okay which that's me that that's what was saving is okay the the um being saved from your enemies it says seeing you have purified your souls and obeying the truth through the spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren see that you love one another with a pure heart faith fervently okay but being born again not of corruptible seed but of incorruptible by the word of yahweh by Samuel Asai, which lives and abides forever okay for all flesh is his grass and all the glory of man is the flower of grass the grass withers and the flat flower thereof falls away 
but the word of the Lord endures forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. Okay, and the gospel means good news. Okay, so the, the second greatest commandment, okay, is that we support to love our brother. Okay, now we don't go out here and, 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 um, uh, go, you know, kill other people, you know, kill Edomites and stuff like that, right? The, what we're supposed to do is lay down our life for our brothers, okay? And that's 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 where we where we're at with the faith, you know. We're, we're going out on a highway and hedges, okay. If it came down to it, okay, we we lose whatever it it it, it comes, you know, for your help by your side, but also for for the brother brotherhood, okay. We lay down our lives for the brotherhood, okay. And 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 Yahweh Shah already laid down his life for for us. Okay, so what what Yahweh Sa is going to do because you laid down your life for the brotherhood and for you know for the truth ultimately, okay, he's going to come back and redeem you, okay, or avenge our blood, okay, because we actually believe in him and we're we're cleansed of you know of the um the blood, okay, that's what you know the book of uh, Ezekiel goes into, okay, the thirty third chapter, okay, but but okay, when the Lord does actually come back okay to re to to um revenge us okay which you know it was always an esau heart you know to um to 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 come at our people you know since we um you know since since jacob uh supplanted him for the birthright okay and got the blessing from his father Okay, this is um, Isaiah 63 and 1. Who is this that comes from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? Okay, and Basra is the capital of, uh, of, of the, you know, the Edomites. Okay, and modern day Basra, okay, is, is America. Okay, or, or anywhere where you see, see a lot of, you know, fucking Edomites. Okay, it says that is glorious and it's a pearl. Traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness mighty to save. And that's Yahweh Shem Yahweh Okay. This is when Yahweh turns. Okay. He, his, his garments are going to be dyed. Okay. It says. It could continue on. Wherefore art you red in your apparel. And your garments like him that treads in the wine, wine fat. Okay. Now you got to know. Right. When. Back in the day when a brother was to get killed. OK, you got that scripture where they say, are you, you know, the Lord asked Cain, are you your brother's? You know, he, well, Cain said, am I my brother's keeper? OK, Yahweh Shah is our, our, our you know, uh, he, he looks at it like he's my he's the brother's his brother's keeper. OK, so when the Lord does return. Okay, that same fury, okay, like if you was to lose your brother, okay, to, to some bullshit, okay, that's the same fury that the Lord is going to have when he, when he comes back, okay. It says, um, I have tried in the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in mine anger, and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment for the day of vengeance. Okay. Once again, vengeance means to pay back or to redeem. Okay. It says for the day of vengeance is in my heart and the year of my redeemed is come. And who is the redeemed? The ones who, who actually believe in this truth. Okay. We, 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 we this is what we hoping for. Okay. That when, when Yahweh saw we turn us back that we're, in it, we're, we're able to be saved from all of this. That we're, we're of value unto the Lord. Okay? It says, And I looked, and there was none to help. And I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore, my own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury, it upheld me. So anybody who sits up there and says that, you know, oh, that's a white man. Uh, Jesus is a white man. It's fairy tale, you know, these non messianics they don't know what the heck they're talking about. Okay, it says, 
and I will tread down the people in mine anger and make them drunk in my fury and I will bring down their strength to the earth. Okay, so the Lord is going to make these people uh, low, okay, extremely low. Um, we get this Revelation 14 and um, 14. And I looked and behold a white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat like the son of like, like unto the son of man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, thrust in thy sickle and reap. Here go to the point. It says, uh, for the time is come for you to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. Okay. Now, see what this this word harvest is. Okay. E twenty three twenty six, Theres Mas, Theres Mas. Okay, and it says Theres Mas. Okay, which means the act of reaping, of the gathering of men into the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. Okay, so the harvest is you know, where you take in the good. Okay, it says referring, which the the good is the elect. Okay. It says, referring to time of reaping the final judgment when the righteous are gathered into the kingdom of Yahweh and the wicked are cast into hell forever. Okay. It says, uh, uh, the crops are ripe for the harvest, i.e., or example, the time has come to destroy the wicked. Okay. So when the Lord comes back, as you see in Matthew 10 and 34, says, think not that I come to send peace on earth, but a sword. Okay. But going on, continuing on, it says, uh, for the harvest of the earth is reap. Okay. It's time to gather up the elect. Okay. Because the elect, okay, are ready to, 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 to rule on this planet. Okay. It says, um, and he that sat on the cloud thrust, and his sickle on the earth and the earth was reaped okay so you're going to have a time where you know thermonuclear missiles are going to be shot okay on a, on on the world okay and um during that time a lot of people out here are going to be getting uh destroyed but you're going to have some people that are slated okay to escape those that time okay it says, um, and another angel, um, 16th verse, it says, and he that sat on the cloud, thrusting his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. And another angel came out of the temple, which is in heaven, and he, he also having a sharp sickle, and an, another angel came out from the altar, which had power over fire, and cried with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, thrusting your sharp sickle, and gather the cr clusters of the vine of the earth, for her grapes are fully ripe. And the angel thrust in his sickle into the earth, and gathered the vine of the earth, and cast it into the great winepress of the wrath of Yahweh. And the winepress was trodden without the city, and blood came out of the winepress, even onto the horses' brid bridles, bridles by the space of a thousand and 600 furlongs okay so it's going to be no you the people that that end up getting destroyed there's no escaping okay and once again that right that verse it said wine press and then isaiah in the, the 63rd chapter it talks about the wine press okay so so america is gonna um gonna catch out man and 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 all these other countries okay that um you know, have put forth their hand towards the Lord's chosen uh, people. Okay. 
Um, get this, Matthew. What is it, 13? Shalom, I'm out. Matthew 13. And uh, just another uh, scripture going into the um, the sickle, okay, or the harvest, right? Matthew 13 and uh, 24. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good, fit, good seed in his field. But while men, men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. And this is talking about the so-called white man going into our people, okay, our women, and, and having children with them, okay, and those children come out may, maybe having, you know, darker skin or, or some type of complexion, okay, and, uh, you know, people are thinking, oh, just because that person is black, that that person is, um, you know, a, a, a so-called black person or Israelite, okay, which this, it don't go by, by skin color, man, okay, it says, but when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the terrace also. So the servants of the household came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou so good seed in thy field, which the field is the world? Okay, it says, from whence then hath it tares? He said unto them, an enemy has done this, and that enemy is the so-called white man. The servants said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while you gather up the tares, you root up also the wheat with them. And tares and wheat look exactly the same. It says, Let both grow in together until the harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, right? The reapers, the angels, gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. Okay. So so that 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 time of harvest, okay, and it just because you got some skin color that you're gonna be saved, man. Okay. That's that's the furthest thing from the truth, man. Okay. <clears throat> the only people that's gonna be saved are the ones who the Lord have mercy on. Okay. Revelation 19 and um, 11, okay? Yeah, Revelation 19 and uh, 11, okay? Um, and I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns and he had a name written that no man knew but himself but he himself it says and he was cloth with a vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the word of, of god okay and that that is talking about yahweh shah okay john the um the first chapter uh talks about that okay I'm going to get this, Psalms 96 and 13. Before the Lord, for he comes, he, he, for he comes to judge the earth, he shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. Okay? And a lot of people are going to be, be scared out of that, you know, whatever they wearing, man. Okay, when the Lord actually does come, okay, and they see that, that he's a so-called black man, okay, that he, he, he ain't coming to, to, to play around. Scriptures say that he was not he would not meet you like a man. Okay, he ain't gonna come down here and start shaking people's hands, you know, and thinking people think that, you know, oh I can assassinate this person. It ain't gonna be none of that, man. When the Lord comes back, you know, people are gonna know the truth and they're gonna be they're gonna be scared, man. Okay. And the armies 14 it says, and the armies which were in heaven followed them upon white horses clothed in fine linen linen white and clean and out of his mouth goes a sharp sword that with it he so smite the nations and he so rule them with a rod of iron and he treads the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of almighty god so the one who the world angrily calls god which his name is Yahweh, 
okay? He has a lot of wrath, man. Okay, let's see what this word wrath is, man. Extreme anger. Okay? Extreme anger. Outrage. Okay? Irritation. Displeasure. Scriptures talk about the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. Okay? So, <laughs> you may see, okay, you you, you you out at camp or whatever. You might be at work or whatever. And, and you may see a abominable uh, transsexual walk by. Right? You know that feeling that you get like, man, I wish I could just, you know, take this motherfucker out there in misery. Right? The Lord has that same, he has a worse, we never be on the same type of level as, as, as how the Lord uh, feels when it comes down to to the wicked people man especially when it comes down to esau man okay and their wicked ass thoughts because their their thoughts are, are so far away from him okay it says and he have a name of on his vesture and on his thigh a name written king of kings and lord of lords okay it says um and I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God. Okay? So the Lord is going to prepare a feast, okay, for these birds, okay, you know, the vultures and the other animals that, that you know, are feed off of the, you know, dead bodies. They're going to have a lot of food, and that food will be able to last them for a long time, man. Okay? Because it's going to be a lot of people out here that are going to get get destroyed when um when the Lord comes back, man. Okay. And we and and guess what? We almost at those those times, man. Okay. I'm gonna get uh two more scriptures, man. Okay, and I'm gonna end the lesson. Um, Joel, um, ten. I mean three and um. Nine, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Okay, and right now we're in the the, uh, uh, the time of, you know, uh, America's financial collapse, okay, America is in a trade war, things are heating up over there in the Middle East, okay, um, Russia, <laughs> I just seen it last night, Russia is, um, um, doing uh, missile tests, nuclear missile tests from out of uh, submarines, man. Okay, and it, and it's going to be real crazy, man. When 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 they do that that type of stuff, man. Okay. It says, uh, "Beat your plowshares into swords, and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong." And these people, you know, these other countries are, you know, they're in an arms race. You know, they they're getting these um. These missiles, you know, ready for that time, man. They're, they're, um, they're weapons, man. They're military weapons. It says, assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about thither. Cause the mighty ones or your mighty ones to come down, O Lord. And and when that time comes, a lot of these, um, these uh, nations are going to be bringing their mighty um uh, military, okay, their military might in order to try to win these battles that are, that they're going to try to uh, that they're going to be in, man. Okay, it says let the um it says um let the heathen be awakened, be wakened, and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, Yahweh Shapat, that's Yahweh Shapat, which um um is uh the Lord's judgment. Okay, it says for there. Will I sit to judge all the heathen round about? Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get down, get you down, for the press is full, the vats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Okay. Um. Second Ezra thirteen and three. And behold, and, and I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, 
all the things trembled that were seen under him. Um, Ezekiel 21 and 9 uh, through, through 11, Son of man prophesied, say, Thus saith the Lord, say a sword, a sword is sharpened and, it's, and, also, and also furbous. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is, and that word mirth is, you know, being happy. Okay, it says, um, it contemns the rod of my son is every tree, and it has given it to be furbish that it may be handled. This word is sharpened and it is furbish to give it to the hand of the slayer. Okay, and those those missiles are going to be used, you know, because the Lord is going to put His fury. Okay, these these other nations. Okay, to shoot those missiles, man. Okay. But we're in those those times, man, where we have to preach this word, man, and 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 uh and, and tell people what, what's going on, man. Okay. To to, to gather in that. Matthew 9 and um what is it, 37? Um, then said he unto his disciples, the harvest truly is plenteous, but the har laborers are few. Okay. You only got a few people out here that's really speaking this truth, man. Okay. Preparing the, 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 the field. Okay. For when the Lord actually comes. Okay. It's only a few people out here, man, in this world that's actually speaking the truth. It says, pray ye therefore the Lord of harvest. That he will send forth laborers into his harvest. And and as time goes on, okay, we're gonna have lots of uh people coming in as as they see um things are getting real and heated up. Okay, a lot of people are gonna start seeing that um, you know, what we're speaking is the truth. Okay. Let's gotta keep on pushing, man, and 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 you know, sooner or later the Lord is gonna come back and he's gonna buy us back, man. But we gotta prove that. You know, we're worthy of being brought in the first place, man. Okay? You gotta prove that your faith is 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 good, you know, for, for, for even buying, man. Okay? If you what the scriptures say, if you faint, okay, in the death of adversity, then your your faith is, is small, man. Okay? Yeah, yeah, your faith is small, man. Yeah, uh uh, uh your strength is small. Uh Proverbs four twenty four and ten. If thou faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. Okay? And we that's why we got to put our strength into y'all by some y'all side. Okay? Because there ain't nothing else out here, you know, uh, worthy of any type of strength, man. Okay? So we hope that we get saved, man, and that the Lord, which he is going to come back and redeem us anyway. Okay? Whether you believe it or not, the Lord going to come back. He's going to destroy this, this place because this place ain't going to go on for that for, it can't keep going on like this, man. All this wicked bullshit out here. Okay, it ain't gonna keep going on like this, man. Okay? But with that, man, I wanna say, uh, Sullivan.